Hi everybody, it's Sandy and I just wanted to come on here real quick to say I finished it. Yes, I did. I bought the pattern for this beautiful, beautiful scarf from Crystal at Chronically Crochet. I suggest that everybody go and buy the pattern. I know she made a video, but coming from someone who um, writes patterns and does some videos, um, I can tell you honestly, it takes a lot of work, a lot of patience, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears to do this. And Crystal's health is not the greatest, so it's even harder for her to do this. So. I'm asking you all to support her by buying her pattern and not just watching her video um, because it is really tough and I I really want to support our Yarny uh, sisters and, and brothers. <laughs> And this is a gorgeous pattern. As soon as she she brought this pattern, or just showed the, the scarf, I was like, I want that pattern. And she wasn't gonna write a pattern, but I hope I wasn't the one that pressured her into it. But <laughs> I am so glad she did it, because I love it. It was an easy pattern to do. It was fun to do. Um, and now that she has narrowed down a supplier for these this special yarn, it makes it that much better. So please go and support her. Her link is down below. I've got her Etsy down below. And go get it and do it. So this is the one that I made. Now, I think I did my stitches a little bit um, tighter than hers because mine didn't come out as long but that's okay um, I can always make it longer later like another one to make it longer but I actually really like it like this and what I did is she put this um, the ribbon yarn in her tassels I didn't do that um, I just put just regular black tassely things because I, knowing me, I'm gonna get it snagged on something and I'm gonna wreck the whole thing. So here is this beautiful, beautiful pattern. And the yarn, this brown and silver yarn I got from Natalie at Natalie's Closet. Thank you so much, sweetheart. I couldn't have done this without you uh, sending me the yarn. Oops, so oops. This is the yarn I used. It's uh, Red Hearts Boutique Ribbon. This, from what I understand, is no longer in existence. <sighs> Which is so sad. But there is a link down below for Lovecraft. Lovecraft has their own ribbon. It's exactly the same ribbon. I'm still waiting. For, I thought for sure I would have it by now, but I haven't. And I've got my craft fair tomorrow. So I'm really kind of disappointed with that. Uh, but good Lord, Odie. <gasps> anyway, I'm really happy with the way this turned out. It's absolutely gorgeous. And oh, it's so nice and warm. <laughs> uh, I used for the black. I used Charisma in black. And then with the four weight that you're supposed to use with the ribbon, I just used just a regular tweed. Um, I think this is impeccables or something. It's just a ball that I had. So it worked out perfectly. I'm absolutely in love with this pattern. So go check her out. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Thank you, Crystal, so much for all your hard work in getting this out because it is a pattern worth having. Okay, now that I've done all that, I just wanted to show you I have one whip. I'm trying to get ready for the craft fair so I haven't really crocheted all that much. This actually, it's darker than this. It's dark. It's, the color is a lot darker than um, what's showing up on the camera, but it's like a, a cherry, dark cherry red. It looks so bright here. It's like, it looks more like a Christmas red in here. 
but it's just a slouchy. I have a ponytail right now, but see, there you go. It's just a double crocheted slouchy hat, nothing special, but the yarn is very special because this is the yarn that Sandy from Left is Right Crochet sent me, and it's so nice and so cozy. It is Yarn Bee's Velvety Smooth Red. Oh, Sandy, oh, whoop, dark, whoa. <laughs> Sandy, I love this yarn. Thank you so much. Unfortunately, I didn't have enough to make a cowl, um, even though I had the two balls. It was a ball and a half to make the slouchy, so I didn't have enough to make the cowl to go with it. But that's okay, that's okay. Um, I, I just absolutely love this, it's so soft. Oh gosh. So that's all I have for you today. I want to say thank you to all of you for all of your well wishes. Bailey's feeling a lot better. I couldn't find her for a second. She's over on the blanket and she blended right in. Bailey. She's like, don't bug me. I'm still, still recovering. Um, yeah, so. Bailey's feeling a lot better, so thank you so much for the well wishes with her. I'm glad you enjoyed the video that I did yesterday, even though the ending wasn't all that wonderful. But that's okay. <laughs> Can't win them all, right? So anyways, um, also, uh, I have the package here for Julie Barron. Um, if you want the information, go to um, uh, Wonderlust Crochet. Dana can send you all the information that you need to send Julie um, some yarn for, she's doing a whole bunch of blankets and stuff for um, charity. So go over and check her out. The link is down below. Uh, I still have not heard from my winner for this beautiful yarn. Um, so I'm hoping that she's going to get a hold of me soon. <laughs> because I'd like to get this out to her. Anyways, that's all I've got for you today. So I know it's a short one, sorry guys, but I'm really trying to get ready for this craft fair. Oh, and ah, tomorrow while I'm at the craft fair, I have my friend coming in to paint my room. Yay! I am so happy because now, hopefully on Sunday, the paint should be dry. And then I can get my room set up and I can start doing tutorials. Yeah! So um, in the next few days, hopefully you will see me in my new setting. <laughs> so I'm so excited. So much is happening in the next few days and uh, I'm feeling a lot better. So thank you all for, for sending me all your love and healing energy. Okay. Uh, so that's it. I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you to all my new subscribers for joining me. Uh, and oh, all to my new subscribers. I have an Etsy page as well. I've got some patterns up there. I'm going to have a lot more patterns once my room is done. Uh, but my Scooty pattern is down there and a whole bunch of different hat patterns and some leg warmer patterns. And did I say that right? Yeah, I guess I did. <laughs> So go check out my Etsy page. And if you're not part of my Facebook group, go on over there and check it out. Okay, all the information is down below. Love you guys all. I will talk to you later. Bye.